Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salam Khan here. And today we discuss uh, the adders using universal guides. Alright. Uh, so first uh, out of which we discuss in this video are the half adders. Okay. Half adders. Half adders using universal guides. Alright. Now, what are these universal gates? So, if you don't know, you watch the previous videos on logic gates. And if you know, so you continue this with me. You have two universal gates, NAND gates and NOR gate. And we've seen that any logic uh, circuit can be implemented with the help of them. That's why they are called universal. And therefore, we can also implement these uh, adders with them. All right. We can implement any circuit with them. So, first, let's say we, we, we do the half adder using the NAND gates, all right, using the NAND gates only. All right, and you know, in case of the half adders, the, the, the sum is what? The sum is uh, A exclusive OR with B, all right, and the carry is what? The carry is an A times B. All right, so now I'm drawing the circuit over here. I'll draw a circuit which will have what? Only NAND gates, and it will be acting as a half adder. So, so let me draw it. Uh, basically, we have this NAND gate, one NAND gate, two NAND gates, three NAND gates, and four NAND gates. All right, so these are basically the four NAND gates. Now, what do you do? Uh, we have two inputs, A and B, okay? So let's say the input A I represent with this blue color. So this A is given to this gate number two like this. A and it's also given to this gate number one. Okay. And uh, let's say the B is represented by the red color. So B is represented like this to given to that gate number three. All right. And this to this first gate also okay now what do we have the second input of this gate so we have it like this the output of this gate the output of this first gate is given to this second gate and also to this third gate all right and now for that gate for that gate we have what the outputs of these two gates this and this and finally over here we have the output which is the sum all right now how is that so we see it step wise all right so over here a is a uh, nan it to b all right so which means this would be an a dot b whole complement all right over here we have an a and it was an a dot b complements whole complement and over here we have the b and with a b complement whole complement all right okay now what is this equal to so if, if you apply the de morgan's law this would equal to a complement plus a b all right and then, uh, and then if you uh, apply the De Morgan's law over here, so this would equal B complement plus AB. All right. And now these two are what? These two are uh, 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 nanded together again. So if I write it over here, let's say we have A complement plus AB into into what? Into B complement plus a b and then you have a whole complement of course so is that fine yes now if you use the distributive law a plus b into a plus c is equal to a plus b c a plus b into a plus c is equal to a plus b c so over here if you have a look so your a is act a b is acting as a Let's say the B is A complement and C is B complement. So you have what? You have an AB 
plus a complement b complement and you have a whole complement all right now this a b plus a complement b complement is what it's the it's the it's the uh, exclusive nor operation all right so so i can write it like this a exclusive nor with b and a whole complement now a exclusive nor with b is what you know the complement of the nor operation uh, the exclusive nor operation is what is the exclusive or operation all right so 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 this is what that this will result in in in, in, in a exclusive or with b all right and this is the sum now what about the the carry so the carry we know it's a into b so and over here we have a complement times b complement and you know that uh, so if i give if i invert it a complement a a into b complement is if given to a not gate so it will result in an a into b so which means i need to give this part this part of it now to a not gate but a not gate is what we have seen that a nand gate can act as a single not a single nand gate can act as a not gate as well all right but you have to give it the same input so so i give it the same input like this and we have over here we have the carry which is a and it with b all right so that's the the diagram of the half error using only nand gates okay now the second is what the second is uh, the half adder using nor gates all right so again in the similar way i draw the the circuit uh, and then we see in the end okay how how is that so 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 how is the circuit it's like this basically you have one nor gate you have another nor gate all right uh, you have another NOR gate another 4 and finally the 5th so total NOR gates are how many? they are 5 in this case So, sorry for the drawing, a little weak in drawing these R and NOR gates, but the basic thing is concept, okay? So now what do you do? You take the input A, alright, and you give it to this uh, NOR gate at both its terminals, alright? So how do you do that? Like this. Now this is A given to this gate, okay? And you take the input B and you give it to this gate number 2 like this again this is B okay is that fine yes now the output the output of the first gate is, is given to, to, to this gate and it, the second gate output is also given to this gate alright now what do you do you give uh, this A this A is also given to this gate number 3 over here and this B is also given to this gate number 3 in this way alright okay now what do we have the output the output of these two gates are again nor with each other and finally over here we have what we have the sum all right now how is that so we see okay we see it a step wise now if you give this to the nor gate the a input is given so over here we have a complement over here we have b complement all right 
Now the output of these two not with each other. So they have A complement or B complement, a whole complement. So you have an A or, or let me write plus a B complement, whole complement. So this will result in, in an AB, which means this is directly the carry. The carry we have is directly obtained from here from this gate all right the sum is obtained over here and the carry over here all right now over here we have this a b now what do we have over here so this is an a complement uh no this is not given to it uh, a and b are given so a or b whole complement which is what which could be an a complement b complement all right, and now A complement, B complement, and AB are given. So which means over here at the output, we have an AB plus A complement, B complement, whole complement. Now this, you see, is the exclusive NOR operation again. So I can have an A circle dot B whole complement. And we know that the complement of the exclusive NOR operation is the exclusive OR operation. And this is the sum of it. And it's proved again, all right? So this is the implementation of half adders using the NOR gate, all right? And I believe this is uh, enough. We see the full adders in the next video, all right? So see you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.